Look, are there instances where God is speaking to somebody and it is very true? And it's from God, but the person has a justification to overrule it? I think so, Pastor Eric. I, you know, our will hmm. is always the battleground. In the Garden of Eden, it's, it's a play of wills. Mm -hmm. The will of God, the will of man, the will of Satan, or through the serpent. Um, was God there when Adam and Eve were going to sin? Yes. Why didn't he hit the, up, the fruit from the mm -hmm. hands of Eve? Mm -hmm. He left it because it's human will. Mm -hmm. and, and it is possible to know the will of God and disobey it. And, and there are times that for our own comfort and convenience, we have been convinced in our hearts clearly. And we know without any shadow of doubt, this is God speaking. And yet we insist on doing what we have willed to do. Uh, I must say that the consequences almost always is not pleasurable. It's true. Uh, it's, it's obedience is better than sacrifice. Yes. Um, if you are sure that this is God speaking to you, um, you have to do it. If there is a doubt, mm -hmm. then you have to seek clarity. You mm -hmm. either pray, wait mm -hmm. on the Lord, mm -hmm. seek his face, or seek counsel from somebody, present mm -hmm. to them, this is what I've seen, this is what I'm hearing, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Somebody more spiritual to help you make mm -hmm. the decision. And on occasion, God may bring a third party, a prophet, to mm -hmm. come and validate what he has been as trying to get across to you.